How's it going? This is, this is uh, February 9th, 2024. So Tizzy's picks for today for the NBA. Uh, the lineup isn't that good tonight, uh, but there are a few key plays that I do like. Uh, let me give you the rundown of all the games. Tonight we have the Hawks on the road facing the 76ers. Uh, Hawks are minus three. Uh, spread minus 155. Sixers are plus three, plus 130. This is on bet 365. Um, this is a game I'm going to stay away from personally, but I do lean I do lean towards the 76ers money line for plus 130. I know Embiid's out. Uh, Maxi has had a piss poor last two games. I expect him to do well. I expect him to play a good team game. Uh, while the Hawks probably are the more talented team at the moment, I do expect the 76ers to get this win at home. But I'm personally going to stay away from betting this. But if I was to bet this, I would lean towards 76ers money line. Uh, up next, we have the Rockets facing the Raptors in Toronto. Uh, Raptors are a slight favorite, minus one and a half. Uh, money line minus 125. Uh, we have the Rockets, obviously, plus one and a half at plus 105 money line. Uh, this is one of the straight bets I will be placing tonight. Um, I have a full unit on it. I would, I would go with the Rockets money line. While the Rockets have been very bad on the road this year, and Fred Van Fleet is out tonight, um, I expect the Rockets to get this dub. Uh, they are the more talented team, top to bottom. The Raptors have been going through a lot of different changes since they've traded Ananobi and, uh, you know, Pascal Siakam. Uh, while R.J. Barrett is a really good player, I expect Dylan Brooks to put the clamps on him tonight. And uh, I like the Rockets plus 105. Uh, next, we have the Wizards at Celtics. Uh this is another game I'm going to stay away from. Uh, Jason Tatum is questionable with an illness. He's day-to-day. -day. He may or may not play tonight. I assume he will play. Uh, maybe not since this is a gimme game against the Wizards, who are terrible. Uh, Wizards plus 17.5, money line plus 1,100. Uh, Celtics minus 17.5, minus 2,200. Um, so... We, we want to stay away from this game as well. If anything, if you want to make a parlay, I would go with the Wizards on an alternative spread. May, maybe get them for plus 22 or plus 25, something crazy. Because I would, I mean, that line's just too big. If you want to take the Wizards plus 17 and a half, that would probably be the best play, I would say. But the Celtics are more than likely going to win. Um... It's just there's no no value in it. Um, up next, we have the Hornets on the road playing the Bucks. Uh, Hornets are plus 14 and a half. Bucks are minus 14 and a half. The Hornets plus 800 on the money line. And the Bucks are minus 1300. Uh, Giannis is questionable. He'll probably play. Lillard is questionable. I was told he will play tonight. Uh, Chris Middleton out. Um, this is a game I will be staying away from as well, personally. Uh, Lamella Ball will be back. Um, I assume the Bucks will win the, win this game. I kind of lean towards the Hornets plus 14 and a half on the spread. Like I said, just like with the Wizards Celtics game, if anything, I would I would parlay the Hornets with an alternative spread, get the Hornets closer to plus twenty on a spread, and parlay that with maybe the Wizards plus twenty something as well. Um, if you want to go that route, but other than that, um, I would say the Bucks will win. Will they win by more than fifteen? I don't know. With Middleton out, 
they've been having issues. They will more than likely win this game. Um, up next, my favorite favorite play of the day. The Nuggets are on the road facing the Sacramento Kings. Uh, Nuggets on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, Nuggets are plus two and a half. They are the dog on the money line, plus 115. Uh, well, I did have the Nuggets last night against the Lakers. They pulled away a gritty win in L.A. on Kobe night. Um, I, I don't like the Nuggets tonight. I, I, I'm going with the Kings spread. I got them at minus two and a half. Uh, and let me tell you why. So the Nuggets have been really bad on the road all year. Um, well, they did get the win in L.A. last night. You know, they are the defending champs. Uh, the Kings are coming off of that terrible loss against the Pistons, um, which is, you know, I mean, a piss-poor loss. Uh, I just really think the Kings are going to bounce back here. I mean, they're, I feel like they're going to be determined. They're going to want to avenge that terrible loss against the Pistons, you know. And I feel like they're going to beat up on the Nuggets tonight. Nuggets had that close win last night. I watched it personally. You know, Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, and Jokic all had good games. I expect one of them to waver tonight. Probably Michael Porter Jr., more than likely. Um, and which in turn, I just I see the Kings winning the game. I mean, I got them at minus two and a half. I see them winning close to between, you know, seven to ten points. They'll pro At least they'll probably win the game by. So uh, my pick of the day is the Kings minus two and a half. If you can get them at two and a half, I would take it now. Um, yeah, I really like the Kings to win tonight. Um, final game tonight, Pelicans at Lakers in L.A. Uh, Pelicans are slight favorite, minus three. Money line, minus 150. Um, Lakers plus three, plus 25 on the money, 125 on the money line. Um, this is another game I will be betting uh, individually. As a straight bet, I like the Pelicans minus three. Uh, I have to double check. I think I have them at two and a half, minus two and a half. When I took them this morning, uh, Zion is questionable with a left phone left foot bone contusion um but i expect him to play regardless if zion plays or or not i like the pelicans tonight they had a great win last time out um when they faced the clippers uh lakers aren't a back-to-back -back. they're an older team uh d'angelo russell is questionable he didn't play last night i assume he won't play tonight either uh lebron had a good game last night AD had a really good game last night, and my thought process behind that is Anthony Davis never has back-to-back -back good games in the regular season, let alone the playoffs. So I expect Anthony Davis to fall back down to earth, uh, and I really like the Pelicans to win tonight on the road against the Lakers. Um, so to sum things up, uh, my three straight bets I will be doing tonight is uh, that I already, I've already placed Kings minus two and a half. I like the Pelicans minus two and a half as well. And I like the Rockets money line. All three as straight bets individually. Um, and then I also tie that together. I have a three leg parlay. I don't recommend doing parlays more than a three leg. Um, but I really like this parlay tonight. I've parlayed them together. Same thing. Pelicans minus two and a half. Kings minus two and a half. And the Rockets money line at plus 105. Um, if you can still get those, place those bets, um, I would do so. I will report back tomorrow with the results. And uh, we should see how it goes. If you uh, enjoyed the content, like and subscribe below. And uh, I will be doing more of these NBA picks uh, here soon. Thank you. Not done yet. You thought I was done? It ain't over yet. We're headed over to Riley Davis with the NHL log for tonight. Thank you.
How we doing guys and gals on this Friday? Riley D coming at you with one hockey luck. I like the Edmonton Oilers on the puck line tonight. Vegas had snapped their long winning streak. I like them going into Anaheim. The last six games, they beat them by over two goals. Seems like kind of a no-brainer and a lock. Vegas, puck line. Good luck, everybody.